Auckland, New Zealand. As a destination, it's picturesque and peaceful. But I'm not here for peace. I'm here for action. It's a sports tourist paradise, and I'm road testing the newest convertible on the lot. It has a torquey V6 engine coupled to a four-speed gearbox and has a top speed of around 150 k's an hour and is obviously a bit of a head-turner. The most extraordinary thing about this little sportster is that it gives a whole new meaning to the words off-road driving. OK, Michael, hit the button. Hit it! First difference you'll notice about the Aquata is its central steering. Here's the second difference. You can drive off the land straight into the water and zip across the bay. Give it a fun though, isn't it? I'm <laughs> That's the Aquata's secret. It's the world's first legal road and water vehicle, a high-speed amphibian. On water, it has a top speed of nearly 60 kilometres an hour. It performs as well as any speedboat. It's time to hit the land and see how the Aquata pulls off its amphibious makeover. The first giveaway that this is not your average car is that it has no doors. You step into it like a boat. And then there's the steering wheel. It's in the middle of the dash. Thankfully, the controls are pretty much like a standard car. The Aquata's design is actually based on a flexible marine hull and has been fully crash tested. The retracting wheels are operated by a unique hydraulic suspension system. This is what makes the Aquata different from any other amphibious vehicle. A custom-designed jet engine is the Aquata's most impressive engineering feat. Short, light and extremely powerful, putting out roughly a tonne of thrust. The suspension, jet engine and steering are all integrated, so when entering the water, the drive to the wheels is disconnected and steering tabs are lowered into the water and the jet thruster kicks into gear. The Aquata is the brainchild of New Zealand businessman Alan Gibbs. The issue of aerodynamics and hydrodynamics is obviously very important because they're in conflict. On water, you want to rise up, and on the, in the road, you want the air to push you down. Uh, we spent a lot of effort on this, hundreds of hours in the wind tunnel, but we have resolved it, and the vehicle uh, is, works very well in both. From the moment you leave the shore and enter the water, it takes only 12 seconds for the Aquata to be seaworthy and ready to ride the waves. much. Alan thinks that when the cars finally hit the showroom in a couple of years time, they'll be somewhere in the vicinity of a hundred thousand US dollars. I better start saving up. And wait for this. The four-wheel drive version. It's only a prototype so there's no details yet on price or when production may start. Just a few tantalising tests on what's sure to become the must-have off-roader. In the meantime, sports buffs can cool their heels with the Aquata. It was designed especially with sports like water skiing and wakeboarding in mind. Just what you need for a great day out on the water.